Hello everyone and welcome back to more Kinseed with me, Idiotic Ultimara. We are off to the graveyard. Off to the graveyard. Off to the graveyard. Off to the graveyard. Graveyard, graveyard. Off to the graveyard. Off to the graveyard. Off to the graveyard. Graveyard, graveyard. Graveyard, graveyard. Off to the graveyard. Graveyard, graveyard. Off to the graves. Surprised so many people came through there. All NPCs, okay. Okay, let's go talk to Jacob since he's still alive. Yeah, there's Jacob. Hello, Jacob. I won't be honest. I was scared. I am glad you didn't choose me. I think living near the graves of ancient religions had affected me. I hope I don't get cursed for saying that. Did I ever tell you about the time I was sat chewing on a rainbow mushroom by the old graves? I saw a man walking through the burial grounds with no head. What's more, I could see right through him. He walked over to a tree, bent down, and picked his head up. He then walked off with it and vanished into the lake. You know what was odd about it, which I never told anyone? I don't like rainbow mushrooms. Okay. But he loves me now. Here's a group you I heard. Okay. Yeah, he loves me now because I didn't sacrifice him. Are you wanting me to cook something or something? You and I are getting on like a house on fire. What's a horse? Well, they were ancient pigs that were as big as a house. Uh, and you could ride them as fast as the when they were. were. Of course, I once saw one when I was smoking ground up rainbow mushrooms. I love this man! Ran right past me, it did, flaming as it went. Made a noise like, Wee What struck me as odd is that it is nearly impossible to grind up. Uh, could you help me out? I'll pay well. I need a bunch of items. What do you want? Oh wow, that's whew. that's a bunch of items, all right. Jesus Christ, I cannot do that. Oh yeah. Uh. So, yeah. What I wanted to do was go all the way down here. All the way around here and into here. Because this is the key he gave me. Jacob's letter. Dear friend, I hope you'll accept this little bag of money to help you with your future. I may have no need for of it soon. Although, I'll be honest with you, I hope my kindness will be returned in kind. Please keep this to yourself, but I am scared of what is to come. I need a friend at, at a time like this. And I hope you are that friend. Regards, Jacob. Yep. Ginger and Mellow Gardens, it is said. Ginger, Rogers, and Spade. Oh boy, that's a lot of money. It's sacrificial, please. Oh boy! Yeah, I'm glad I. I damn. Okay, Jacob. Jacob, you, uh, yep, I'm happy I saved you. Okay. And Ginger, that's dead now. Uh, can I, like, I don't think she has anything, really. No, there's nothing here that matters, to be fair. I can, like, cook shit now. Hmm. Oh, and I can pick this up. Woo. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, hello. I didn't see that. Strong uh, mint location. Strong in growth and strong in taste. Summer down mint won't go to waste. 
Cool. Uh, what? Hmm. It is still. This this hour has gone on forever. Are we ever going to finish this one hour? Or is it bugged out and might have been bugged out. Oh. I want to tell you something. I am only telling this to you as we are now the best of friends. I once saw Mag the Mogog in these very same burial grounds was across the river by those tall rock columns sleeping. I made a note of my experiences in this book. You can have it, seeing as we are pals. I only ask one favour. I dare not dig up any of these old graves. I once buried a tin ward when I was more suspicious, but now I want it back. I just feel I may have upset the spirits or goddesses. Hmm. I dig up the ward in the burial grounds. I don't know what time it is. Like, knowing what time it is would be nice. Because I don't want to dig up the ward without knowing the time. And it didn't fix it. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Right, I need to head home because this bug is annoying. I probably need a doggo for this. Yeah, I think I need a doggo for this. Right. Okay. Uh, wrong way. Again, wrong fucking way. Here we go. And now we need to run to the center. I'm a, I am thoroughly annoyed that this bug is happening. Where the fuck is the thing? Here. You know, I'm actually kind of happy that uh, that didn't burn. Feels a little bit better. Anyway, we're done. I am going to just go to sleep. I have plenty of seeds. Oh, look, the hour finally changed. Uh, yeah, I got a bunch of seeds. That's quite a quite a fair amount of seeds. Probably not enough, but it's en it's good enough, I think. Still eight o'clock. Yeah, let's go back home, and we'll chop down those that area again. Because I can. Uh, and I'm going to send you home. Oh, hello. Uh, send you home. From old Jacob. Your friendship means a lot to me. Silver scale. Silver scale is shimmering dark. Tastes quite nice and stops apart. Cool. Careless wisp. Do I have that? Yep. Still kind of early. Look at how many seeds there are. Jesus, this is too easy. Like, I know it's only one brass per seed, but god damn. And I'm going to be turning these into potions eventually. So it's it's useful. Okay. Uh, and now I'm just going to fish. Where's the fish? There's a fish. Ah! Ball sacks! 
It's too early too. It's nine o'clock. It's not even eleven. Fucker. Too goddamn early. Can't pick that up. Fuck. Okay. Hello, Twig. Twig. Uh, Torch Tina Turd. Twig Tog. Twiggle D. Twiggly D. Mr. Fairweather is waiting for thee. Oh, you must be bursting with excitement. Not many get to meet a real proper fae. Now, follow them fairy lights, and I'll dream hop myself to the crossroads in Druda's Cross, to the south, and meet you there. Wait. Okay. Oh, can I? No. Damn it. I don't need to follow them. I know roughly where I'm going. He's already told me go down this way. Go straight south. Hello. Are you awake or are you asleep? Well, here's something you'll be wanting to keep. A gift from Mr. Fairweather himself. It's a really special lantern called the Obscura and it lets you see things that are normally, hid normally hidden to those without true sight. Let's just pop that there glass lens of yours in it. Exciting? But don't stop now. Keep following the fairies and I'll see you in the southeast corner of the Tasty Acres. Oh. It fit perfectly. I wonder where the missing lenses are. Anyways, take that there light and head to the southeast corner of the Tasty Acres. Uh, now I want, what the fuck is it, that lens to go there, now I have everything I want, so bright, I hope you're all ready also. I didn't see this. When the land is sprinkled white, blood few shirks and takes flight. Okay. So there's no blood few when there's snow is what they're saying. We're all just strands in a giant ball of twine, but your wishes will come true deep in the mine. I've got the key for you here. Just follow the fairies all the way to the first mine you come to in Crumble Chalk. Red mine key. And if you could notice, there's a red door right here. Oh, hello. Checkered chop. An evening pawns commit to brain. Checkered chop twists again. I'm gonna do this. Because why the fuck not? Is it this way? It is this way. Gibbs. Gibbs. I can't pick that up for some reason. Hello, Twig. Here you are, in the right place, at the right time. No more listening to Daft Twig rhyme. Now go on and shine the obscura onto the big stones while you stand in the circle. Move the beam until, until it opens a door. Mr. Fader, Fairweather waits on the other side. With gifts and treasures you can't imagine, but be careful what you wish for. Hello. Travel to Briar. We've been here before. Don't go off the beaten path. Hello, Mr. Fairweather. Again. Oh. 
I'm so pleased you could join me again. Now, you have seen what true shadows look like. You have seen what a farce the human world the human the the world of humans is forcing a child to choose a sacrifice what small-minded pitiful creatures they are but not you with you begins a lineage that will accomplish wonders a dynasty that will achieve complete mastery over all things and all it takes is a seed the ken seed once it flowers, you will be bonded to its magic, and though you may succumb to the irresistible cult of the grave, your essence will live on as a guardian of your prog progeny, and each generation stronger than the last. Your spirit will be stronger than any quill has seen before. But first, you must agree to a contract, a mere formality, I assure you. By taking ownership of the kin seed, you agree to the stipulations in this contract. The kin seed will allow you to see and speak with all things fae, and grow your family tree. Your children will carry on your legacy, and as your tree grows, so does your power. Once planted, the contract begins. You may uproot the kin seed and pass it to any of your children who are of age, and join them in spirit, thus continuing to monitor your bloodline. In return for the kin seed, you agree that on the day of your 50th birthday, birthing day, you willingly give your body to Mr. Fairweather. Every heir who inherits a kin seed must do the same. So, pretty much what, I, accepting the kin seed means that you and every single heir that will ever live have to be given to Mr. Fairweather when they turn 50. They, it does not say that they have to die. It just says that they have to give their body to Mr. Fairweather. If you have no heirs to pass the kin seed to, you'll be offered an orphan to take the pl your place. If you die before your time, Mr. Fairweather agrees to revive you at the cost of one year of your life. This contract is binding upon signing the paper. The initial con uh, cost of the kin seed is five years of your life, payable up front. Life tax is payable at the end of each human calendar year. So, if you die, you lose a lot. You use a year. You lose a year, not a life. That's rough. And accepting this ages me up by five years. I think we're 13 right now. So we'll turn 18 by accepting the kin seed. And then at the end of each calendar year, if we have any life tax to pay, like this uh, one year of each death, then yeah, we shall accept. You're not going to decline. A wondrous magical seed. Splendid. Then our covenant is in place. Now you must plant the seed on the hill above the house you call home. Its roots, its roots will be your roots and it will flower many times, just as your family will. But that is not my only gift tonight. You have already experienced what drudgery and hard work life can bring. And these trinkets can ease your burden. You may choose one of them now. Though, you will be able to call upon me in the future if you wish to trade for more. In any case, I will pay you a visit as midnight strikes at the year's end to collect my modest fee for any services rendered. Until next time, my child. So I get to choose one of these three. This means I no longer have to pick up dandelions. Stock it with food to feed your animals automatically with this elegant trough. This means I no longer have to go to feed my pig every single fucking day. And this allows me to go through the tree arches. I think I want the clock. Yeah, I think the clock is probably my favourite of these three. This is really good. 
this I don't give a fuck about all that much. The gluttonous trough is really nice, but I think I want the clock. Purchase your first item. Time to upgrade from dandelions with this mechanical timepiece. Life tax five. Years due five. I accept it. We are 13. Doom. 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 We are now 18 years old and we uh, grew a moustache. A moustache. Dash. Dash. Like, we look old as fuck for an 18 year old. You've only just begun. Complete the prologue. Hey, I was rewarded one brass. Woot woot. Okay. So get ready. Ah, oh, so much better. That's so much better. So get ready for some shit to happen. It's been five years. We lost five years of our life. Get ready. Is that... Is that you? I don't believe it. I thought I'd never see you again. Where have you been? What do you mean? You don't know. You've been gone five years. You left us. Left me. With a single word. We could have run away together. But you just disappeared. Just abandoned me. <coughs> You're not making any sense. I tried looking for you at first. But Uncle Bill made sure I always came back. Didn't want me to. What didn't want to lose me too. Then he started getting sick and I had to stay and look after him. Somebody had to. She's pretty pissed. You believed in us. All we wanted was to make you proud. Perhaps you will find both find each. Perhaps you will both find each other in the woods. And run together. I will join you one day. Thank you for everything you did for us. May the waters take you well. Goddesses bless you. Yay. After that, it was my turn to leave. There was no point sticking around. Only reason I came here today is because it's my birthday our birthday and I thought I don't know what I thought I never want to see this place again far as I'm concerned you can keep it what's left of it oh before I go take this it's a key to that door we always wanted to look behind I just couldn't bear to open it but maybe you should look inside yourself I'll be in town for a while maybe see what's going on at the festival green these days you know if you want to say goodbye before I leave, oh, and happy birthday to the ground. What a turn of events. Wooden Farm is now yours. You'll be able to raise a family here and use it as your base of operations. For now, though, head to the pond west of your house and on the crest of the hill. Plant the kin seed on the spot there. You can also leave the veil if you wish, as you are now of age. So feel free to explore the world beyond. Better still, you won't fall asleep at 11pm. Spring is here. Enjoy the rest of your birthday. Yeah, uh, she's like fucked off. Like, she's gone. She just fucking gone. Uh, also, do I have any curses or anything like that? I don't know. Well, meet again. Well, met again. Dreaming one name is Pot. Recall our fun? I asked you questions very deep, long ago when did you sleep. Lost your kin, but don't be glum, a legacy is yet to come. The farm is yours, and I your friend, will dust the hearth and beds to mend. What next for you, I would guess? Dreams of doors, so seek it, yes. Northgate beckons, and the world outside. Adventures many, and pigs to ride. Another gift I gave, I give to you. Pot my name and nature too. This will gather reputation. So off you go without hesitation. See the world and fill the jar. Make friends near. Do tasks afar. Slay many beasts. Attack parry block. Own many shops and raise your stock. 
Seek the ones that lay below, those who sleep from long below. Then you can a legend be. Go now and make history. Okay, this is brand new. I've never seen this. I've, like, this is not a part of the last time I played the game. So, yeah. The reputation urn allows you to collect rep from various sources. Raising friendship tiers, slaying monsters, completing tasks, winning certain events, owning a business and getting positive customer energy. Running a shop is the most effective way to earn rep. Rep will allow you to unlock perks for your business via the ledger. These perks will help your good store, blacksmith or apothecary become even more successful and efficient, thus bringing in even more rep and money. To view your reputation and renown levels, select the progress screen icon in the bottom left of the con of the main plan or press key. Ah, oh, here we go. Yeah, that's that tells you here. Zero to five hundred. Where's my like thing? Spit and shine. So I have to actually make oh. Plant the kids seed, dig up, yeah, I've still got to do that. Um, get a dog, yes. Investigate the strange door. Head out of, the, yep. Plant the kin seed, yep. And make a bruni offering. Speak to pot at a far, at the farm exit. Head to, out. Find the stone you saw in your dreams. It is somewhere, okay. I don't remember that, but, okay. We need to offer first like this. Just honestly, it doesn't matter. Let's offer that. Annual events. Year one, deaths. Ginger Nut was chosen. Really? Nothing else happened? Okay. This is new as well. Uh, this was never a part of it. Um, Ginger Nut was chosen as the Summertide Herald. So one, one person died and one person was born. Bethany Brown was born to Arthur Brown and Teresa Brown. That's cool. Uh, you, I do need to feed you. Feed you a uh, tomato. Okay, it, I guess it doesn't matter. I need to feed you as well. I guess. Maybe not. Super important. Oh! Yeah, I need to plant the kinseed, don't I? Where is there? No? Where the fuck is it, Medico? Okay, I can come in here. Oh. Oh. Oh, this is cool. What is this? Tin ward. Hob knob. Lob, damage reduced. Um, um, does that go on me? Maybe. Ten word cannot be used from the. Okay, I don't know. Which which? Need help sorting which which is which. Our informative guide will help you identify the hags from the nag hag knots. Uh, each month, our magazine will tell you all the secrets you need to know about our favourite crackling cr croons, crones. From the bitter forest hags of Simplewood and their spiked vines to the deadly and violent water hags of Midwood. Slashing folks from their dark puddles each month will detail these dangerous denizens with full colour illustrations. Part 1 comes with a miniature night hag, complete with a swingable lantern and authentic hair. Part 2 will cost 15 times what you paid for the first because we've got you by the cream crackers. Part 3 will likely never appear, so you will never be able to collect the set. Available at all good use pigeons. That's cool. That's funny. Uh, pick up 50 gold or 50 brass. Uncle Bill's letter. I will read this for the next episode. Thank you all very much for watching. Hope you all had fun and I'll see you all next time. Have fun people and bye bye.